Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Q. It is another Cafe Light project. It seems like every Cafe Light project is totally different. The very first one I did, I was connecting Cafe Lights to trees, so moving objects. You might want to check that one up in the, out in the top right corner. My most popular video, actually. My The second video I did, the structures were already there. I had a block fence, so I drilled into a block wall and attached it to a house. You might want to check that one out. That's in the top right hand corner also. This one, I had to actually put posts on my block fence. You can do this on a wooden fence or a block fence or even in the ground and attach it to the house. I also used very different lights on this project. I really like these lights. They've actually stood the test of time. I've had this project, I did this about seven months ago. We've had a lot of rain and these have worked great. I wanted lower profile lights and they just, they're just a little more appealing. So um, let's get started on this project. Before we get going, everything I use is linked in the description, so check that out. If you learned something during this, please like, and I would love for you to subscribe at any time in the bottom right hand corner. Now we can get started. Oh, wait a minute, we do connect these to Wi-Fi. I'll show you how I did that at the end. All right, here's some of the hardware that I chased down. If you don't want to go to Ace or Home Depot to get all this stuff, you, there are all-in-one wire hanging kits on Amazon. A link is in the description. I use three-quarter inch aluminum tubing, and I attach those to the wall with these lag bolts, two-inch lag bolts, and this lag shield. There'll be more details on that a little bit later in the video. Okay, behind me is the wall I'll be working on. I've got these two... Um, I've got these two above ground planters that I'm going to basically center the one attachment up there and then I'm going to put two against this wall. I'm showing you that now. So that's kind of the setup. So I'm centering my first point at the top up there. Okay, so that's kind of the plan. Uh, this is the easy part. About nine feet, six inches high. I'm going to drill a pilot hole into wood and attach this screw eye. Not exactly this one. You can use smaller ones too. It doesn't have to be a quarter inch. Uh, again, this is nine, uh, nine feet, six inches high. Super simple. The hard part is really uh, putting that tubing on the block wall. Here we go. So th this is just me setting up this post to raise the height from basically six feet, which is the height of the wall, to eight feet, six inches. And this is a laser distance measure by Bosch. I use this all the time. I'm just measuring the distance from the building to the wall, which is about 33 feet. Okay, in preparation for uh, putting that tubing up, I'm going to drill two holes, um, same distance in that aluminum tubing. The reason I grabbed aluminum tubing is it won't rust and it's easy to drill through and it's also pretty sturdy. There's a little flex in this as you might see when I'm putting it up, but um, bang for your buck, I think this is the best way to go. All right, here I'm just showing you that I've got an alley in the back of my house, so it's kind of nice. I can put those aluminum posts a couple feet behind the wall so you only see two feet in the front. All I'm going to do is basically stick this up against the wall and mark my spots where I'm going to drill. I'm going to start with one and then um, work my way up to the second one. You definitely need concrete drill bits for this. Go out and buy a set, especially if you have a block wall. You might need or it'd be nice to have a hammer drill function on your drill like I do um, or you just have a hammer drill in general. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I love this drill. I've got hammer drill, impact, and drill. I keep on talking about block walls, but if you've got a wood fence, just take a regular drill, drill a pilot hole, and put a bolt through it. This I'm showing is where I put the lag shield. I insert that lag shield into the hole, and this is what happens is I take a bolt, stick it through there, and it starts to expand, giving it a firm grasp on that wall. Now I'm just securing the bar um, to that bottom hole. Next, I'm going to take my hammer drill to mark the next hole, just basically put a divot in the uh, concrete so I know where to drill using a four foot level to make sure that that's definitely vertical. Um, make a quick mark, remove it, and then I drill another hole. So, and then I repeat the process. I drill a hole, put a lag shield in, and uh, secure a bolt into it. There are a lot of options when attaching things to block wall. I've used Tapcons, I've used Redheads, but I also like the lag shield and bolt option. I used this in a previous project that I mentioned earlier. So after I put this one up, one of the things I should have done is put the hardware on before I installed it. Not a big deal. 
Um, just one more, a um, little more painful step to do. Um, so this is the other one that I'm fastening to the other wall, and this is me going up and putting that hardware on that other aluminum post. So I've got a video that tells you how to make a loop in a wire. Click that card up in the right hand corner, top right hand corner of the uh, screen and you'll learn how to do this. Okay, once I've got that loop set, um, I've got a little carabiner that I put through that, um, that loop. Take it over to the post, um, add it to the post, and this is what it looks like when I'm done. That's my first post that I'm doing. I just stick it through that fish eye. Then I run that wire over to the other wall and I thread it through the other fish eye. That's pretty simple. Um, and this is just a close up shot. I literally just ran the wire through that fish eye. Disregard the black cord and the black duct tape that comes later. But I just wanted to get it. I didn't have a close up of what I did here. I literally just ran it through there. All right, so once it goes through that fisheye, I went to the other post. I did not get video of this, but here's a close-up look. Ignore the black material. Um, so I've got the loop in the wire hooked into the turnbuckle. A turnbuckle is great. What you want to do is unscrew these so it's the longest it can get, and then hook it up and then put tension on the wire by screwing that center point, by turning that center point, and it brings those two ends together to put tension on the wire so here's the one uh, setup, which is to the left as you're looking out. And this is, again, the carabiner hooked into the fisheye. So a little bit different setup, but there's some detail, hopefully not too much. Okay, now time for the lights. It's, I wanted a, I've got about 33 feet, like I've said before, from the wall to the, um, from the house to the wall. Uh, this is 33 feet, not LED. I would have preferred LED, but I just couldn't find one that matched up what I wanted. More importantly, made in the USA. Um, if you care about that, uh, sometimes, actually I do. You've got to really think about which side you're going to run to where. This is the male. This is the female. Um, electricity is against the house. We want to keep this male side against the house. Um, I'm going to run two separate lines. And so I'll have two males up against the house and then we'll connect it with a extension cord. Here we go. Okay, now this is kind of the easy part, just putting the lights on that guy wire. I'm just showing you that, yes, I've got the plug against the house where the electricity is going. What's nice about these lights, and again, they are waterproof, is that they have hooks on them. So you just hook them onto the guy wire, and that's all I'm doing here. I kind of start at the top, I put them all on, and then I drag them towards the end. I do the same thing on each side of these guy wires. Again, I have two sets of 33 feet. It's nice. Um, a lot of times you end up with extra cord, extra lights at the end, and it's kind of like, what do you do then? So sometimes you should just base your project on what distance you're trying to cover. So again, this is the easy part and I'm speeding through this and let's get moving on to how I hooked up electricity. All right, now it's time to hook up the electrical. I actually lost audio, but uh, I'm using staples. I'm using this plug and I'm also using Gorilla duct tape, which is black that goes well. So the plan here is to just plug those two lines you see hanging into that multi outlet or inlet plug and then plug that into an extension cord that I'm gonna run underneath the eave of the building and you'll see me do that now. So off camera, I hooked everything up. It's not difficult. There's the three outlet plug. I ran an extension cord from the back side of this building, which is kind of my junk area, as you might see, into that three outlet plug. I use a hammer with those staples and secured the plug and the extension cord to the eave of the house. And I ran that into a Jerry Martin plug I love these plugs, I love their switches. If you check out that video in the top right hand corner, um, that's a video on those switches, but this is what I use to turn on and off those lights anywhere in the world or my house. And here I'm just showing you that yes, on my phone, I can sit on my patio, I can be anywhere in the house, I can be anywhere in the world and I can turn on these cafe lights, entertain the thieves or my family, whoever's there at the time. Just like all projects that you do yourself, they're not perfect. Uh, you can fine tune over time. What I wanna show you here is that black uh, bulky part, obviously is the end of the cafe lights that I used Gorilla Tape to cover. Not a perfect answer. You could probably get a plastic piece, just like almost like um, 
that you protect outlets in your homes from kids. Um, I did the same thing on the other side. Uh, but again, this has worked. It's been six months. We don't get a ton of rain, but it's worked great. All right. That looks pretty good if I do say so myself. There is no perfect setup. Uh, the electrical could be look a little neater. That turnbuckle, I would have unscrewed it, um, set the length of the wire, and then screwed it down so I could get that wire a little tighter. It's fine the way it is. Nobody's gonna see it. Uh, nobody's gonna really notice it, especially at night. Um, I love these low profile lights. Don't buy off on, you've gotta get these heavy duty, long uh, cafe lights because you just don't need those. Um, if you learn something, please like. If you've got a better setup or if you've got suggestions or if you just enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to comment. That's helped support my channel. Obviously subscribing would help support my channel. Um, thanks for watching this edition of How To Q. We'll see you next time.